Hi, I'm Ricky Augustin from seattle matic and right now we're making lime cordial. I've got a little bit of a job to do this weekend, and I like to use fresh ingredients, as fresh as possible, or as long as uh, time allows it. Um, I have a little bit of vodka sec that I've already made, and it was a 10-day process, and it's just been bottled. And right now, we're going to make um, another ingredient, lime cordial, uh, using a recipe from Imbibe magazine. So, we're going to take always fresh limes right here, a dozen fresh limes, and we're going to go ahead and get started. 12 fresh limes, always fresh, and what we're going to do is we're going to put them in this pot of um, warm soapy water. What we're going to do is we're just going to scrub them real good, make sure that all the wax and dirt and pesticides, if there is pesticides on them, are removed. We're not going to scrub real hard because we want to get rid of that wax, but we don't want to get rid of the oil. For lime cordial, you're not going to just use the juice of the lime. You're going to actually going to take advantage of the oils that are on the outside of the rind here. And how we do that is we're going to zest the lime, and then we're going to juice it, and then we're going to simmer it all together, kind of like a tea, where it's going to steep in there. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a channel knife like this and just go around here, kind of as you would if you were going to garnish a drink. But that can take a long time. What you got is like little strips like this. What I like to do, and because I don't like to sit around zesting limes all day, what I want to do is I just want to take one of these, a box grater. It does the same thing, but it does it faster. Just set it down right here and go down. Just like that. Use a fine side. You don't want any of that white pith in there. That's kind of a... That's kind of... Bitter. So in case you were wondering what... One dozen halved limes looks like. One dozen halved and pressed limes look like. It looks like that. It's not a pretty sight, but it smells amazing. Go ahead and add your cup and a half of lime juice right onto the stove, followed by your cup and a half of plain white sugar. Just go ahead and dump it in there, followed by your lime zest. Let's go ahead and sprinkle it in. I'm going to let it steep like a tea. Remember how I told you we were going to do that? Now at this point, it's still just heating up and we're going to create a syrup with this. Now we're just going to stir it around and you're going to get a nice bright green. Now as soon as you start to get a little bit more viscous, you're going to see, this, uh, you're going to see the uh, sugar dissolve and it's going to get a little bit more thick. And that's exactly what you want. What you don't want is your syrup to get all muddy brown. Now, how we, uh, how we uh, prevent that is we're going to turn down the heat all the way to low. Going any higher or letting it boil, getting to that boiling point, is going to turn this this dark muddy brown. You don't want your cocktails looking like that. Your gimlet is just going to look like uh, just mud water. After you've gone ahead and let your ingredients simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes over a low flame, what you're going to want to do is let it cool for about uh, an equal amount of time so that you can put it into another container, which you will pour into a, 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 a fine strain. Just like that. Just like that. 